Hello beautiful people, how are you all? I'm Dr. Janaid and you're watching my YouTube channel. If you're here for the very first time, I post about stuff working in and out of the hospital and the general lifestyle associated with it. If you like this video, don't forget to press like, subscribe, share this video and do press the bell icon so that you can see these videos instantly as they become uploaded. The previous vlog was about a night shift, so I thought I should show you some sunlight as well. Today I'm working as a locum registrar in one of the biggest tertiary care hospitals in UK. Without further ado, let's show you around. So this hospital is one of the giants, really. It's a behemoth of a hospital. It in fact consists of two hospitals, which come under its same trust. It looks after about a million population. Big corridors, very roomy and very wide. Very well staffed, very well supported. We have at least four registrars. Hai. The first registrar is managing the take. Another registrar is myself, who's looking after the wards. There are third and fourth registrars, which are looking after cold patients such as GP referrals. I like teaching hospitals because all the current advancements, all their medical technology is available in these hospitals. The computers are really fast. Consultants like who are very, very well versed, such as professors, you'll find a lot of them in this hospital. There's a lot of education and research opportunities compared to working in a DGH. The only issue working in a big tertiary hospital is that you feel like a small fish in a big pond. If you have rotation for one year, then hardly apart from your own department, somebody would know your name. Compared to working in a district general hospital, which is a smaller hospital, but everybody would know your name. You will have a new shirt, the clinical nurse in charge would notice it. If you get a new haircut, she would notice it. Since I'm working as a locum registrar, so I need to get my locum access card sorted. I don't have an access card to go around and I'm holding this arrest bleep in my hand, which can go off any second. So I should better hurry. Hi, uh, this is Dr. Ahim, medical registrar. Uh, I was wondering if you can come down to the control room and sign off a locum access card for me, please. I'm gonna be there in a second. Thank you very much, see you. Yes. Just about the right timing, isn't it? That's perfect timing. So I've just been bleed by obstetrics registrar for a review for a patient who is 37 weeks pregnant. She was recently diagnosed to have uh, diabetes and she was started on insulin. Uh, and she's keeping having hypos. So they have asked me to come and review the patient. But the gynecology and obstetrics team is always worth asking whether they have stopped anti-diabetic medications. Luckily in this case, they have, but the patient is still having low blood sugars. I think my top differentials would be to make sure that this lady doesn't have any infection and her adrenal glands are protected. So the obstetrics lady is sorted. We've got another bleep for a patient who needs a lumbar puncture because the patient has come with the worst headache of her life. Query subarachnoid hemorrhage. This is the LP pack. This is the sterile gown. This is the sterile pack. This is a manometer to gauge the pressure. 
This is the LP needle. And these are the anesthetizing solutions. Interestingly, uh, the patient doesn't speak much English. The patient is from Romania and she speaks fluent Romanian rather than English. So, is there any patients can there do issues or they think they don't understand the indications and contraindications as much. So the consent itself can be dubious. So what I've done for her is that I have planned that we should get a language line involved, which is a kind of a telephone service. Jaha aapke paas bahut sare different uh, operators maujood hote hain which are well versed in speaking in different languages. UK mein log fitness ke bahut shaukeen hain. Inhone jagah jagah plaques lagaye hue hain like this right next to the lips. Ke kindly lips mat lijiye, burn the calories, take the stairs. To chaliye, let's take the stairs. फिजिकल फिटनेस के इतने शराई हैं कि इन्होंने हॉस्पिटल के अंदर भी एक्सरसाइज की मशीनें लगाई नहीं just received a call from the site manager saying ke ek patient hai jo ke medical team ne accept kar liya tha on a uh, few days back three or four days back lekin hasn't been seen for two or three days which is actually a safety issue to is tarah ke bade hospitals ke andar patients ka kho jana kuch bahut zyada chambe ki baat nahi hai ise kehte hain chirag ka naam dera to chaliye aapko apni library bhi dikhate hain Three favorite things in this library. Number one, number two, number three. Today is a bank holiday. उसकी वजह यह है कि यहाँ की क्वीन ने 70 years of reign in UK पूरे किए हैं and it's being celebrated as a platinum jubilee. तो हमारे हॉस्पिटल ने भी फेस्टिविटीज को मद्देनजर रखते हुए कुछ डेकोरेशंस किए हैं. आपको थोड़ा सा प्रीव्यू दिखाता हूँ मैं. नमाज के लिए दे यूज दिस बिगर प्लेस जो कि यूजली सर्मेंस के लिए इस्तेमाल होता है लेकिन ड्यूरिंग जुमा बिकम्स अ बिग कॉन्ग्रीगेशन प्लेस फॉर द प्रेयर तो ये अगेन एक रिफ्लेक्शन एरिया है जहां आप बैठ सकते हैं बैठ के आपको कोई परेशानी है आपका कोई बहुत प्यारा एडमिट है तो इंस्टेड ऑफ गेटिंग स्ट्रेस अबाउट इट यू कैन सिट हियर यू कैन प्रे यू कैन रिलैक्स एंड दे हैव मेड अ स्मॉल रिफ्लेक्शन एरिया फॉर ऑल द अटेंडेंस ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन्स सो दिस इज आवर आउट पेशेंट डिपार्टमेंट Being a bank holiday, obviously uh, there are no patients to be seen here. But in this case, when bank holiday is not there, usual week day is there, so these chairs are quite full. They do run acceleration clinics, which I 
which patients would be seen on bank holidays as well as over the weekends and you get extra paid for that. At the moment it looks really nice and peaceful. I think I really like this canopy which opens outside and it brings all the natural light in or I think it uh, makes patients happy as well. Obviously natural sunlight is an antidote to depression. All right, peeps. So, this vlog is the time to reach your time. Please keep your attention to until next vlog. If you like this video, do like, subscribe, and share. All the very best.